today we're going to be doing a walk around of my 1993 Toyota regular cab deluxe pickup. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, here she is in all of her glory, baking in the sun in my driveway. We're going to start along the exterior, just kind of walk around, check a few things out. Uh, first of all, one of the things that I love is um, the paint is in really, really great condition. Um, it is brand new paint. Some people have a bias towards original paint. I honestly don't mind. Um, I think it looks pretty darn good. As for the wheels, I'm unsure if these were a uh, stock option or not. I've seen them on a lot of the old pickups. Um, so they definitely could have been, but it might just be a popular aftermarket look. I do love the way these wheels look, especially paired up with the uh, all terrains on there. That kind of in between, knobbier than a road tire, um, gives a little more beef. Also, we got the manual locking hubs, which I love. It's one of my one of my favorite aspects of this truck. One of the things that I really love about this truck is the uh, the ride height. This is stock height. Uh, Toyota obviously designed this truck to be able to rip around off road because um, it's definitely tall for a uh, a stock height truck. Come around the back here. It does have a new rear bumper. It was rear ended at some point before I owned it. Um, there really are no signs of it except right down here. If you look behind that bumper, you can see an indent. One other little imperfection on the body here is that lower, lower section of the front bumper has been um, kind of just destroyed. I took it out uh, off-road a little bit, but that's like a $100 replaceable part, and I'm thinking about putting something else on there anyway. Taking a look at the other side of the truck here, the lighting is not amazing, but uh, pretty much the same thing. The body's in great shape. One of the things I was a little worried about buying this truck is if there was anything to hide under the paint. And uh, just taking a look at the bed, I realized there really wasn't much. I mean, there's, there's general wear, but there isn't a single dent in the bed. Um, it obviously has not been completely abused. I mean, obviously it's been used, but uh, it, it's in great shape for a 29 year old truck. We got this roll bar here. It's a, it's a kind of bolt on one. I don't, I don't really know if it serves a huge function. Um, I do like the way it looks though and it's Toyota branded. I don't know if that is um, a legit Toyota thing or if it's just been put on there. Before we look inside the truck, let's take a look underneath. Um, this truck is in immaculate condition on the underside. Um, I'll get the lighting correct here and get you guys some better clips. Like I said, extremely clean. Everything is uh, is in check. The frame is 100% rust free. Um, and again, super, super clean. Yeah, just all the all the components under here just look super great and function super well as well. All right, let's take a look under the hood real quick after we start the truck. The engine bay is pretty clean. It's not a uh, gorgeous, but the engine runs super well. It's sitting around 250,000 miles. I'm not sure the exact mileage. The guy that the previous owner bought it from had tried to trick him, roll back the odometer. I ran the Carfax and saw it's real, real mileage. I will right, we'll go ahead and just take a quick look at the interior. Really the only thing is tearing the seat right here. Not a huge deal. Uh, the seats themselves are super great condition if my camera will work here. Everything's super clean. Yeah, as I was telling you, it's showing 47,000 on the dash, uh, but that is far from correct. 
We got the five speed in this, which I could not be more happy about. Obviously, four wheel drive, as the mud flaps say. One thing about this transmission is, um, I like to say that it's just a very moody transmission. Uh, it doesn't doesn't like to let you in a first if you're rolling even at just five mile an hour. So it can be a little interesting to drive sometimes. It feels great, um, but it's just funky. Like first gear is just a little bit moody. And then just kind of your, uh, your classic Toyota cockpit. I love the way it's kind of all designed and angled right at the driver. Uh, we have these ridiculously small cup holders that I've yet to use because they're unusable. All your classic controls here. And uh, yeah, interior looks pretty dang good. Still got our little info cards in here, which is nice. The uh, only thing it didn't come with is the owner's manual, which is kind of frustrating because they're like 150 bucks online if you want to buy another one. Um, but I do need to get my hands on one at some point. We have our uh, our sliding rear window, which is super nice. Um, good little feature. Yeah, and that's our uh, our little walk around here. I definitely scored with this truck. I got it for nine grand. Uh, I drove it from Austin, Texas to Tucson, Arizona. So it is reliable and tested to be reliable. The original owner who owned it for the majority of its life, around 20 years or so, exclusively had it serviced at Toyota dealerships and had it serviced just a handful of times every year. So uh, it is very, very up to date on its service and um, just a, a very well taken care of truck. So super lucky with it. If y'all want to continue to see videos with this truck in the future, then uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, check out the rest of the channel. See you later.